The first core message is that um, to, to give the confidence that, that they can actually do it, you know, that, that it isn't uh, this dark art of, of technology transfer. And of course, many people uh, try to make it as if it's really complicated, and you buy big books on tech transfer and spin outs and business plans. But if I could just get over the message that uh, it's not actually that, that complex, and it's common sense, and it's uh, something that's very accessible to academics who are bright people, uh, that, that, that if they think it through, uh, that they, they can realize that they can be very effective agents uh, at uh, developing the commercial potential of their own ideas. But the first key message was that every opportunity is a hypothesis. It's a hunch, it's a guess, it, it's a feeling that you have, but you don't really know whether it's going to be a great opportunity or not until you test it in the same way that you don't know with a hypothesis. Now, this is a really powerful message, especially for academics, because they're, learned, they're, they're taught, sorry, they're, they, they learn, they're taught to think in this way. I mean, you get a scientific hypothesis, the first thing you try to do is to falsify it, is to test it, is to disprove it, is to fail fast, fail cheap, or, or learn fast. The second one, I guess, is to think about the value proposition. You know, what is it where you can love your technology, but to think about all the various different um, individuals uh, and, and companies and groups who you need to uh, buy the thing, who, who, to invest in it. You know, who's going to have to play ball with you? Who's going to have to actually agree with you that it's a wonderful invention uh, that they should invest in um, and think it through from their perspective. I mean, it's a very obvious message. It's just saying, think it through from the perspective of the customer and think about benefits rather than products. Uh, the third message, I think, is to get the head out there, you know, is to not uh, spend too much time conceptualizing and thinking it through from your own laboratory or indeed from your own tech transfer office, but to get out there and, and start talking to people. Um, what I'm absolutely sure about is that having listened to the final presentations today, um, the ones that I think are going to be winners, and I'm not going to tell you which ones are, uh, they will probably turn out to be not the winners, and the ones that I thought were not going to get anywhere will probably prove me wrong and become the winners. And, and, and the lesson there is that I've learned is you can't actually pick those winners at this stage. Um, you know, that you, you, you've, got to, you've got to give some, uh, for, especially these four coming out, you've got to give them the resources to get to the next stage. Um, and and, and you know, these, are, these are rare people. These really are academics who want to take their technology, and they're inspired and enthusiastic about taking it to the next stage. There aren't many people like that, and if they succeed, they're going to create some terrific stories. So give them some resource, which you can't get from the market. Somehow find the resource to enable them to take this to the next stage.